We are starting it up. Yes, I straight away. And today, we are starting it up about pandemic infodemic. <laughs> yani, kuna pandemic. <laughs> And then sasa kuna ile zime kuja kabisa infodemic. Na kuambia yes. information mingi sana. Zingi mzuri zingine zingine mbaya. Yes, I. So we are turning it up tonight and as we all know our worlds were thrown uh, I don't know if it's across or under the bus or uh, across <laughs> the bus or wherever. Uh, a couple of months ago for us it's been March for, mm-hmm. since March here in Kenya and we've all been exposed to a huge amount of COVID-19 information from the leaders, celebrities, public figures and different sources on a daily basis and not all of it is reliable. Now, we at Season Circle are looking at some of the facts related to coronavirus. Now, recently we were telling you about the Bujubantan story. Mm-hmm. And we didn't talk about it much and today we thought we would share with you what he actually said. Yes. All right. So, let's take a good listen to what the man Buju said about masks, mm-hmm. wearing masks. Uh, we know that his daughters came out and said, "Please wear your masks" after he he made this comment. So, you guys take a listen and uh, when we come back, we're going to be discussing a little bit about masks. But someone said, I don't ask if everything all right. I tell the brethren, no, everything not all right. And everything can't all right. Who oh, want done this mass wearing bullshit in a Jamaica? Who oh, would feel dead or go dead? And who oh, not go dead just for just live? With either you intellectual fool trying to tell us how to live our lives. You are so smart, why you haven't find a cure for cancer? You are both all touting a line and putting the Jamaican people in abject fear and driving us all to poverty. What have you done for all those who you have laid off and made them business close early? Jamaican people need to wake up. I'm done with the fuck, Craig. Jamaican people need to wake up. I'm now wear no mask. A man not for mask, not make for man. So hear this. I from September and January with the boat, I'm gonna fuck with the people them. Free my people. Free my people. Now. They taught you to love Michael Jackson. Then they taught you to hate Michael Jackson. They taught you to love Bill Cosby. Then they taught you to hate Bill Cosby. Don't you see that they have been lying to us for all these times? So why should we believe them now? Why? How oh, ironic it is that this, this virus actually is more intelligent than man. It's like it moves and following certain individuals wherever they go. My people, we the better we wake up the kind of going find out. First and foremost, Jamaicans are not selling no vote, you know. I'm from on the cell of vote and no, no sense. So anything can happen right now. Why is up and stand up on the last chance of phone reach a precipice? <laughs> My love for you supersede all that this world has to offer. I will not join the other entertainers and trick you. I will not lead you down a path of destruction. I've always been sincere and true to you, my people. A lot of people are benefiting by touting and pushing my people down to a path that is totally destructive. Here in Jamaica, here in America, I don't care. My life is not mine. It has never been. So hear me, my people. While I'm here with you, stand up, you know. Strictly conscious vibes on cease and sickle. The government in Jamaica making his people go in lockdown. He's asking, how are the people going to survive? He's saying, you know, free my people from this masks and what what and if you guys are such intellectuals then where's the cure for cancer mm-hmm. uh and you know he went on and on and that is the statement that after he made his two daughters came out to say jamaicans please wear your mask yes now we're going to be sharing some facts about um you know as we said about corona uh, yeah about corona as we said a lot of information has been coming in mm-hmm. now one of the facts is that the prolonged use of medical masks when properly worn does not cause co2 intoxication nor oxygen deficiency okay Mm -hmm. the prolonged use of medical uh, masks can be uncomfortable however it does not lead to co2 intoxication nor oxygen deficiency while wearing um, a medical mask make sure it fits properly and that it's tight enough to allow you to breathe normally and do not do not my people reuse a disposable mask and always change it um 
and especially come on the damp 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 mm-hmm. you mean get mad you see it's wet whatever yes. don't use it again yes and of course another fact is people should not wear masks while exercising yes this is a fact actually people should not wear masks while exercising as masks re- may reduce the ability to breathe comfortably sweat may make the mask become wet more quickly which makes it difficult to breathe and promotes the growth of microorganisms the important preventative measure during exercise is to maintain physical distance sense of at least one meter from others. Another fact is uh, hand dryers. Zile unapataga mahali siju kwa cho hand dryers um, are not effective in killing the COVID-19 virus. So guys, be careful out there. So usiona ti sababu umetoka lu ama oh wacha niweke kwa kwa hand dryer ita 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 process ita wa COVID-19 virus. Hand dryers are not effective in killing the COVID-19 yeah. virus. To protect yourself, frequently clean your hands with an alcohol-based hand rub and wash them with soap and water. Yes, Once sir. your hands are cleaned, you should dry them thoroughly by using paper towels or a warm air dryer. All right. Another fact mm-hmm. is that the COVID-19 virus cannot be spread through mosquito bites. To date, there's been no information or evidence to suggest that the new coronavirus could be transmitted by mosquitoes. And the new virus is a respiratory virus which spreads uh, through droplets uh, when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or through drop, uh, droplets of saliva or discharge from the nose. Mm-hmm. Now, um, because there's been so much information... We have to tell you guys what the facts are, yes. okay? <laughs> we have our very own, um, you know, people who we look up to, like Buju, yes. coming out and saying, do not wear masks. This particular thing about CO2, you may hear a lot of Rasta brethren talk about it. Mm-hmm. When I say, oh, masks, you guys are breathing in carbon dioxide yes. and all that. Yes. To me, it's Babylon and, mm-hmm. all, and all of this, right? Mm-hmm. Guys, that, that is not a fact. It is not a fact. You can be misleading the other brethren with information like this. Yes. In fact, masks are there to protect you. And we're going to be talking about more of the facts. And of course, we're going to also be sharing you some um, clips from Vegas, mm-hmm. from uh, Mutabaruka yes. as well, talking about the same thing. And we can all just sit down and, uh, you know, absorb this information because... So much has been said, mm-hmm. but we're only dealing with facts tonight. Yes. It doesn't mean that uh, because it's coming from a celebrity, yeah. that you, you yeah, man. celebrities tell, will tell you, like Buju said, don't wear your mask. But at the end of the day, you know that you have to wear your mask because you're putting your life in danger, putting your family in danger, or, uh, you, or, or your loved ones. Yeah, man. Friends. Vibes Radio playing music for the people, by the people, to the people. Discussing the pandemic, or as some Rasa calling it, the plan-demic. Well, now, Ikitu, Ilipangwa. It's a plan. <laughs> it's a plan-demic. Any mulipanga, mulika, chini mukaona. Yeah, man. Mutupanga, even mutupanga. All right. So, another fact about the COVID-19 is that vitamin and mineral supplements cannot cure COVID-19. Micronutrients such as vitamins D and C and zinc are critical for a well-functioning immune system and play a vital role in promoting health and nutritional well-being. And uh, there is currently no guidance on the use of micronutrient supplements as a treatment of COVID-19. Now, another fact is that cold weather, snow, and taking a hot bath does not prevent COVID-19. So some people in the beginning were saying, you know, steaming, hot bath, or be standing <laughs> in the cold and all those things yes. are going to help you beat the, you know... Um, the pandemic Mm -hmm. but actually taking a hot bath will not prevent you from catching COVID-19 your normal body temperature remains around uh, 36.5 to 37 degrees centigrade uh, Celsius uh, regardless of the temperature of your bath or shower actually taking a hot bath with extremely hot water can be harmful because duh it can burn you <laughs> and yes if you followed this uh corona stories from the very beginning you used to you you, um, you must have heard about the 5g networks oh yeah uh, mambo ya 5g oh and it's like 5g no man amelita stu networks in the corona etc so 5G mobile networks do not spread COVID-19. Viruses can cannot travel on radio waves or mobile networks. COVID-19 is a spread is is even spreading in countries that do not even have 5G mobile networks. Yeah, man. So definitely yo. Definitely, Another fact is studies show uh, hydroxychloroquine does not uh, have clinical benefits in treating COVID-19. Now this is a treatment for malaria. 
that of course it has been under study for some time and we used to hear people saying that uh, if you take malaria drugs it's upon it's um, COVID-19 so current data shows that this drug does not reduce death among hospitalized COVID-19 patients nor does it, nor does it help people with moderate diseases uh-huh so those are facts that you should keep with you because we are living with COVID-19. It's still here mm-hmm. um, in Kenya. The numbers are increasing. We've uh, heard that the president wants to have an emergency um, uh, meeting about it. And so we are crossing our fingers, waiting to hear what the news is. But right about now, I want to take a listen to uh, Mutaba Ruka. Okay? The man himself. The man himself, the intelligent man. He's got a lot of positive things to say. We're going to take a listen first, and then when we come back, we're going to discuss about what Mutabaruka is talking about. When well, I say that there is certain things that you can do to lessen the problems, lessen your loved ones to sick. Nobody wants to see their grandmother, grandfather, or their children sick to the point where you have to help them. And there's something that you can do that has been proven over the centuries. Jamaican people don't know that because we have been fed these whole heap of arguments about why you shouldn't wear masks. People are to talk about now the, 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 the thermometer. <laughs> people are to against the thermometer now where the people them have at the supermarket. I said them are trying to put something in your brains. What the madness is this? Them are trying to put something in your brains. It's a thermometer. They have used that thermometer there for years. They have used the thermometer. It's just that more of them are sell now because most people say if you if you gone over a certain temperature, more than likely you have a fever. Therefore, them now have a low in there if you contaminate the other people them in there. It has nothing to do with a put something in your brains. It's madness. It's total madness. It's paranoia at its highest level paranoia at its highest level you understand this mask thing well people have been wearing the mask for centuries doctors wear masks four hours them in operating teeth and them up on the mask and now two years say you are going to wear a mask now you say you don't wear no mask because they might try to control Strictly conscious vibes on cease and circle. Yeah, man. So that was Matabaruka <laughs> talking about people's paranoia. This is exactly what we're seeing on season circle. Kwanza was here, Mishanzo Kusema Sheriff. Thermometer in a kujokweka vitu kwa brain. Kwa brain. Ile, ile, ile digital. Kwanza ukiona squeeze you wase akipimo na kamkono. Eh, wewe pimo eh kamkono yangu. Mimi ndio nataka kwa kwa kichwa yangu. What are you guys trying to do to my brain cells? And that's paranoia as Mutabaruka is saying, you know, is like so masks, I'm explain vizuri sana. Masks have been used for a very long time. Yes. Doctors have been using masks mm-hmm. in the operating room. Then we'll be having doctors dying of carbon dioxide every day because they're wearing masks all day. There are some doctors who are dealing with critically ill patients yes. and they wear masks for more than four or five hours. Mm-hmm. Or during surgery, they're wearing the masks as well. Now, I love that he said, you know, you need to think about things for yourself. Yes. If you want to see your grandmother, your father, your mother sick, mm-hmm. or your children sick, yes. then fine, be paranoid, start talking about, you know, masks are not good for you, talk mm-hmm. about the thermometer in a try to change brain, yangu, no, yes. no. And these are the kind of things that we've been hearing a lot about during this time, Sheriff. Yes. No, no. What one a day, eh, Kwanza your thermometer again to the Rasta brethren and sisters. Yes, nothing is being put in your head. Nothing is being put in your head. They are not trying to fry your brains. No, man. <laughs> you know, that is, as Mutabaruka puts it, paranoia at the highest level. Mm-hmm. Vaksatana, he finds it funny. He's laughing about it, right? Well, I think it's not something to laugh about, but actually our people, Kwanza uko Africa, Yes. They don't even want to go and search the facts for themselves. And remember, this there, there was a Spanish flu in 1918. Yeah. It was widespread even like Corona. And people were being forced to wear masks back then. And that's how one of the ways they, they used to control the Spanish flu. So why now are we having issues with people starting to say that, oh, masks are going to problem. And yet, this, this has been proven time and time again that in, in cases of when there's a... Not only that, wakati homa ya kuku 
Chinese will not wear mask for how long? For a long time. Yes. Yes, and uh, everything applicable to the rest of the world except Tanzania, who did, uh, uh, who are voting today, and uh, there were very many people at the post stations. No masks were seen anywhere near. Not one person. Not one person. Niliona Kwaizo lines are polling Including station. the president. Was wearing a mask. <laughs> so that is a different case. Don't ask us about that. You have to do it. You have to do research it. And then to try to get a Missouri Wagwan. Because here in Kenya, where we're wearing masks, to our numbers in a double. It's not panda. Men are no rust. Men are no. So, but the thing is, let's stick to the facts. Let's stay safe. And yeah, man. <laughs> Strictly conscious vibes on cease and circle. Talking about an infodemic. Yes, of course, you know, the spread of uh, lots and lots of information about coronavirus. You know, we have a corona pandemic, and of course, now we have a corona infodemic. Too many info, too much information too going much around, info, yeah. and not everything is the correct info. And so, we are here to try and, of course, talk about some of the facts and uh, talk about some of the ways. Uh, some celebrities are using their status to pass the wrong information. And now, another fact is the corona disease, the coronavirus, uh, COVID-19, is caused by a virus, not a bacteria. That means that uh, the coronavirus in the family of viruses called the coronavid- 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 Ay, wait, missing scientist. And uh, <laughs> as such, antibiotics do not work against viruses. So don't think that uh, that uh, when you go to the, uh, the chemist and remember chemist patent antibiotics you know it's a, it's a tibu coronavirus some people become ill uh, with coronavirus uh, covid-19 can also develop bacterial infection as a complication all right and that's why you're finding sometimes in some cases antibiotics are being given to some of these patients because yeah. it's like a complication yeah yeah another fact is vaccines against pneumonia do not protect against covid-19 virus yes this kuna uh, kuna time ingine semeka na oh kikao medungo vaccine ya pneumonia oh kutu sawa eh 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 na 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 you still need the vaccine you still need the vaccine for, for for pneumonia against pneumonia but not against coronavirus yes i now the other fact is that most people who get covid-19 actually do recover from it so most of the people will get mild or moderate symptoms and they can recover thanks to supportive care if you have a cough or fever and difficulty breathing seek medical care early and i must tell you you might also have these three symptoms mm-hmm. like i did a couple of months ago it wasn't covid yes. it was just a normal infection that i had although i was getting very funny looks when i was telling yes. them you should have seen me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I. Another fact is that rinsing your nose with saline does not prevent COVID-19. There is no evidence that regularly rinsing the nose with saline solution <laughs> has protected people <laughs> from infection. Now, Africans, we came up with so many things. Kwanza hizi ma steaming. Tuwa tuna steam na sijui ginger, garlic, lemon, sijui nini, nini. Masa una kibao na vitu kibao. There is no cure in that. Okay, guys? So, those are the facts. Now, we're going to take a listen to what Mr. Vegas uh, was talking about uh, recently. He uh, put out a post as well after Buju actually mm-hmm. talked about not wearing masks. Yes. And uh, now let's take a listen to what Mr. Vegas had to say. Some people think it's going to kill you. Some, some people say, yo, you're going to take in back the carbon dioxide we're supposed to release and all of these things. I mean, I think so. it, is, it is more detrimental for you to wear a mask than not wearing a mask and catch whatever is out there and pass it to your grandmother and pass it to your mother and pass it to your father and pass it to your auntie who is already ill. You understand? So we got to be more responsible. See? And, and the last thing I want to say, it kind of baffles me that some people that are out there saying this, 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 this coronavirus is not real and this is a, is a pandemic and all of these things. These same people subscribe to the same religious concept that the same people them where them are curse, the same people them where them are rebuke, the same people them where them are tell you, say, don't listen to. They are still listening to those people that created all the religious concepts that we are holding on to. You understand? All of the religious concepts that we are holding on to is the same people them created, you know. Are them off, is them offspring right now doing it, but are them after them lineage create the whole thing. So, so if you are going to hold on to religious concept, then 
you have no talk in another conversation here. You understand? If you have a rebuke, you know, the, 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 the people them we are, we, are, we are creating this pandemic. You have to rebuke them from the inception of where them start do, where them start plan. Because this is not the first pandemic. Religion is a pandemic. You understand? It's one of the biggest pandemic. Religion. That is one of the biggest pandemic. And many of you will come out here and talk about the virus not real. If you check your house right now and check your surroundings, you're heavily invested in the pandemic, the religious pandemics that them, that them put on the earth. You understand? Them just divide it up into some different sections and give some over this a Muslim and give some over this a Christianity and give some other religion. I guess what I say, but wear a mask. Wear a mask, him say. So, yes, this one was interesting, Sharif, because um, as I said, it came out after Buju said, don't wear a mask. Yes. And what Vegas is saying, for him, the pandemic is religion. Yes. So you can't come and start chanting Babylon mm -hmm. and saying, oh, fire burns, Jui, the virus is not real, yes. or this is a plan, this yes. is all or whatever. Yeah, to sub but still subscribe. To the same Babylon uh, <laughs> Plandemic. pandemics, which are those, you know, ideologies that yes. they came with, mm -hmm. that they brought even here to Africa, and we forgot about our gods in the mountain and our traditional gods yes. and started worshipping what they said was what we need to worship, right? Yes, yes. So, according to Vegas, it's very interesting. I like his reasoning. If you're going to say it's a pandemic, or the masks are not going to help us or, you know, this thing is just a plot to get the people to suffer or whatever it is, then why are you following the same people's religious mm -hmm. beliefs? Yes. And he says, take a look around your house mm -hmm. right now. You're heavily invested mm -hmm into those the original pandemic which is religion meaning ukiangalia hivi utakuta umehang up across umehang up nini umehang up nini but you're the same same people who are saying the virus is not real unaona you know um there's definitely something out there that's what he's saying there's something that is killing people pandemic or not there's something out there that is killing people all right somebody people with underlying uh, problems uh, within their bodies get infected easily and they die easily. All right. So it means he's saying there's something out there that is killing people, that is affecting people, affecting people's livelihoods, people's health. So take care of yourself by wearing masks, pandemic or not. Take care of yourself. Wear That's a what mask. He's saying. That's what he's saying. Yes, sir. Vibes mm. Nation, Meskia Vizuri Sana. Sharif Amekwambia, Ruth's daughter Amekwambia, Napia, Mr. Vegas Amekwambia. Put on your masks. Vibes Radio playing music for the people, by the people, to the people.